how is it going youtube fam man i hope y'all doing well today hey game the official here back with another video man first and foremost again thank you to all the people that subscribe and like and comment on my videos man this channel is constantly growing i'm almost to 100 subscribers and i greatly appreciate that let's keep clicking that subscribe button let's click keep clicking that like button let's keep commenting i want to hear from y'all man i love y'all I love that y'all support me. I greatly appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed, I promise you. Anybody that comment, I try to comment back. I try to respond as quick as I can. Um, anybody that follow me on Instagram and like some pictures, man, I try to follow y'all back. I just, I, I love when y'all show me love and I'll be glad to show love back. That's just the type of person I am, but thank y'all. I greatly appreciate it. But um, this video, mm, I hate to say it. This is my first problem that I have that I have had with this Durango. And it did not come until after I got my tune. Not necessarily saying that the tune is the problem, but let me show y'all what I'm talking about before I get too far into it. Just, uh, just watch this right here. Yeah, that right there. I'm gonna try to explain that the best way I can. The truck does not want to stay crank or crunk. It, it don't want to stay on, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, the automatic start does not like it. Okay, the automatic start does not want to stay on. Like the truck don't want to stay crank for some reason. Um, I don't exactly know what that's from. I, I, um, like I said, it came, it came after the tune. So I hit Jake Green up and I told him what was going on. He supposedly sent me a solution. I uploaded it to the Diablo Trinity and I uploaded the, the tune to the truck. It worked maybe twice. Like it worked very well. And then it started doing that again and i just i can't figure it out i don't know if i need to hit jay green back i don't know if it's something that i'm doing and a code actually pops up um because when i first noticed it man it's freaking nets and stuff everywhere when i first noticed it it tells me remote start disabled push button to restart and okay let me close this door so all these bugs don't get in here but i did my diagnostics all right turn vehicle on turn the music off before somebody try to sue me and that come up p0601 and when i click on it it tells me internal control module memory checks on error so that comes up and I try to clear it. And after I do clear it, all codes have been cleared, back to gauges or whatever. Turn my vehicle back off. All right. Now y'all saw, I cleared the code. Technically, I think it should work after that. But first of all, that startup is a beast. But, Yeah. Huh. I guess after that it stays on. Cause I tried that before and it didn't stay on. I tried it a couple times actually and it didn't stay on. But I guess then 
it stays on but it's some timing that's what i'm saying like this is not a it's not a real big deal to have as a problem but it is a problem and to have to clear that code if it does want to work every time to have to clear that code and then do the automatic start like it defeats the purpose if i'm in the car to clear the code then i might well just turn the car on see what i'm saying i don't want to have to do that every single time so that is definitely a problem i guess i gotta hit jay green back and see can he do something about that because that check engine light is always on unless i clear it and i don't want to have to do that but first problem but anyway man I wanted to make this video because I noticed that I have never given you guys a quarter mile time. I have did my zero to 60. I've done a race or two, but I like I've been watching these videos for a while. Like I wonder what the Durango runs in the quarter mile. I think it's windy. I'm sorry if y'all hear that wind. But yeah, I've been wondering what it runs in the quarter mile and I've been watching people set ups and uh, drag races. And they run, I think the slowest is about a 14 that I've seen. At the most, the low 13s. I was like, dang, man. These, these trucks really moving. I wonder what I run. Never thinking, I got the damn tune in the truck. I can click the quarter mile button and run a quarter mile and figure out my own time. I never really, that never occurred to me. So today's video, I'm going to bring y'all a quarter mile time. And I'm going to try to do an eighth. I might do zero to 100. We gon' we gonna figure it out. But yeah, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so y'all gonna have to call me a liar on this one, man. Uh I wanted to get the quarter mile time, but the track that I was finna go to is closed. But all is not lost. I got another treat for y'all. So, Alpha Scat TV came to the house, which he in front of me right now, and told me that a guy by the name of, I'm going to put his Instagram name on here, a guy by the name of Hemi Tick want to meet up. He's part of a local group called uh, 601 Mopars, and he has a real sick charger. And I think, I know for a fact he's Cam. But I also think that he has a new built motor and a tune that he got in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. We'll get details when we get there, but right now we headed out to a gas station and we finna meet up with him real quick. He might just end up racing Alpha Scat. Who knows? He might actually be a match for him. But yeah, we headed to the gas station to meet up with him now. We'll see how it go. Y'all stay tuned though. All right. Uh -oh. So, this is Tick. How you doing, bro? What's up, man? I'm going to put your Instagram on it. It's Hemi Tick, right? Hemi Tick. Yeah. Tick. He part of the 601 Mopar group, which is local around here. And that, that monster right there, is his charger. We can walk over here just for a little bit, man. I just want to hear what you got in it. What you say your setup is now? Uh, I got a, I got a, took it to Texas and got a 400 stroke of built by uh, Inertia. No check out inertia, but uh, it's a full hunt struggle with a uh, forward internal. Him is nice. Set up for boost, but uh, I don't have it boosted yet, but it, it, it's still pulling. Still pulling pretty hard. Really? Yeah, yeah. Did you, uh, you didn't get a chance to put on a dyno in Texas, did you? Uh, well, when I got it built, I, I had, uh, I still had a stock 57 uh, exhaust on it, which is kind of holding it back, but it still put down uh, 440, 435. Yeah, damn. So I'm pretty sure now that I've done this exhaust. I'm hoping next time I get on download, I see at least 470, 480 to the wheel. Or something 470, like 480. Yeah. I heard you say you walked off on the scat pack earlier too, bro. Yeah, you if you pushing out that much, you gotta be. Yeah, yeah. it'll move. I, I I still need to get that uh re uh, that uh the rear the rear end done. Oh yeah. Got that stock rear end. I'm probably gonna go with a get rear like 306 or something like that. Today. That mud is nice though, bro. The pre wheels, pre the hood, the spoiler on the back. That mud nice. So, we finna do a couple highway rolls and we'll see how this mud sound. Probably match it up against Alpha Scat. Cause we about the only one that can match up against him. I ain't doing nothing. But we gonna get it in though. Man, these 
boy is rolling. I ain't playing no games. So that's the race. I wish I would have had some in cab footage, bro. That was some good races on me. The second one, though. Chief, you take that second one. That, that second race was like, it looked like it was y'all dead life for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your top is crazy. Yo, these I, 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 moving I, I, though. I, I want to catch that low. They done it twice and I've been sitting here. No, I can't keep up. I tried to keep up. What happened? But. That was a good race. I wish I would have had in cab footage. I'm gonna see if I can get it from Tick's. Um, I think his wife is in the passenger seat. I think she was recording. I'm gonna try to get it from her. But man, that charger is no slouch. I mean, neither is Alpha Scats either. Golly, that's a 06. For 06, he is moving. That is, that ain't no 5.7 no more. Man, I got some work to do on the Durango. It's okay, baby. I'm gonna get you there. I'm gonna get you there. Oh, yeah. How long have you been working on it? Well, I, I, I done had the car probably like, probably about six years. I started with like small stuff, you know. And I actually, I had a cam set up that I was gonna put in. I had everything, the cam, the lifter, the push rod. And uh, I kinda, I kinda wanted uh, a little more, so I ended up getting it built. And I had like $1,200 worth of stuff, man. And, uh, I asked around for people, I don't want about $400 worth. And I was really, really trying to get it away. You know what I'm talking about, ain't nobody like, nah, I, I really ain't trying to do a cam right now. I was like, man, that, that, that's too much. I'm like, dude, I'm like, this is how all stuff. But I found a cat in uh, Tennessee. Yeah. He bought it for me off eBay. And I shipped it to him. And at the same time, I was taking it to Texas. I'm, 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 I'm very happy with what I got. You know hey, it's a big pound. Big pound. Big pound. I know it is. Especially on, on the low end. Yeah. Yeah, like the torque. Like, it'll, it'll hold you in the seat. So, yeah. Yeah. It'll hold you in the seat. I like the way that mother lope like that every now and then. That mud mean, man. Yo, For real. Look at the yeah, you get the best of both worlds with that. That's the world. About a week. And she was fine. She was okay, fine. You gotta wait before you wrap it. No, I'm not waiting. I did it again. I swear. I'm gonna do it probably like the story. I can't wait, man. I'm going to take it easy. All right, man. Bro.
bro. I'm glad I got a chance to meet you finally, man. Oh, man. Yo, that, that car is dope. Yeah, in person, yeah. I have been talking to him and chopping it up. I just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, I always show love, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, I'm glad I finally got a chance to meet you and you came out. So, that's it, man. That's the video. That turned out to be a good day. Um, I appreciate Tick for coming through. Like I said, I'm going to put his Instagram up, man. Y'all go follow him and that sick charger he got. That mud is... It is the truth, especially at top end. The man is running. He said earlier he walked off from, from a 392. Him and Alpha Scat just went at it out in Mexico. And, uh, yo, the man is rolling. For real. Y'all go check him out on Instagram. Be sure to, if you like this video, comment, like, and of course, subscribe. Like I said, we almost to 100. Let's get there. I mean, I got so much further that I want to go, but I'm trying to hit milestone after milestone at 100. That's a milestone. Y'all help me get there. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. It's all love, man. Um, By the way, the, the earlier video with the, the tune and the, the check engine light, if anybody else with a Durango or a Charger or a Challenger that's tuned, and has experienced their problem and you fixed it holler at me because i'm trying to fix it maybe i gotta holler back at jay green like i said i don't know but if you got any advice for me it's all welcome um till next time man hey gang we out peace